The donated land and building funds made it possible for the Board of Trustees to move forward with the university's first structure. It was simply known as the Administration Building. It was constructed in 1886 and ready for service when the university opened for students on September 15th of that same year. Although this first building had an unpretentious name, the students knew its value to campus life. In 1926, a Salina Journal writer noted the following. Students in those early days tried to live up to the formality of that title even if banquets, basketball practice, literary societies, and commencement ceremonies were all conducted within the walls of that same structure. The administration building stood where Pioneer Hall stands today and remained in that location until 1921 when it was moved to the southwest corner of the campus. Moving the structure was a major undertaking described by John Cornett, a KWU historian and professor, in his 1936 book, 50 Years of Kansas Wesleyan University, 1886 through 1936. The removal of the first building to grace the campus of Kansas Wesleyan, now hoary with age and venerable and rich traditions, was accomplished in 1921 without the slightest injury to the structure and was considered no mean achievement of engineering skill. The project was completed at an expenditure of $40,000. The foundations of the building were split and immense timbers placed under the walls. The rails were laid on which steel rollers bore the heavy burden at the rate of 40 feet a day for a distance of 550 feet from the former site in a southwesterly direction, where the building was lowered upon a new foundation. It was a matter of marvel that no crevices or cracks appeared in the masonry and that even the ivy upon the brick walls was saved. On June 6, 1922, the relocated structure was rededicated and named Lockwood Hall in memory of the Reverend Dr. J. H. Lockwood, an original member of the Board of Trustees, whose tenacity and profound belief in higher education helped lead to the establishment of Kansas Wesleyan. Lockwood Hall was used for liberal arts classes until the new administration building the Hall of the Pioneers was completed. It then housed the Division of Music and Art while the liberal arts classes moved into that new building. Lockwood Hall continued to serve the university until it was torn down in 1959. 